In this video, I'm going to explain the glottal T sound in American English. But first, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are released. Have you ever paid attention to the pronunciation of words like eaten, button, and mountain? What is that sound in the middle of those words? Is it a T? Well, the answer is yes, no, well, maybe. If you ask any American, they will tell you that the sound you hear is a T. If you ask any non-native English speaker, they will assure you that it's not a T. So what you hear in words like gotten, written, and sentence technically is considered a T sound but it's quite different from what most people consider a T. If I ask you to tell me how to pronounce a T sound, you'll probably illustrate it by touching the tip of your tongue to the alveolar ridge, which is the hard bony area just behind your upper front teeth, here. Then you'll probably expel a puff of air out of your mouth like this. That's what we usually think of when we're talking about the T sound. Well, this is actually only one variation of an English T. T is one of the most variable consonants in American English. Its pronunciation changes based on the other sounds around it. So when T is in the middle of a word and then is followed by a syllable ending in N, it's really not a T sound at all it becomes what we call a glottal stop. You actually don't pronounce that T. The sound is stopped completely in your throat and immediately followed by an N sound without pronouncing the vowel. Let's take the word eaten for example. Listen carefully. Eaten. Eaten. You start by pronouncing the long E at the beginning. E. And then your tongue may move to the alveolar ridge as if to pronounce the T, but it really doesn't have to. What's important really is that the sound stop in your throat like this. Eat, eat. And then add an N sound directly after it with no vowel in between. Try it with me. Eat -n you need to actually close the vocal folds here. Eat, 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 mm, eat, mm. If your tongue has already moved to the alveolar ridge, as if to pronounce a T, you can just keep it there to pronounce the N. Eat, mm, eat, mm. Another thing to note is the intonation pattern. You have a sharp rise in pitch up to the glottal stop, followed by a drop on the n. Notice, eat n, eat n. Let's practice some common glottal stop words together. Just go ahead and repeat after me. Mountain, mountain, button, button. Written, written, fountain, fountain, important, important, sentence, sentence. A glottal stop can also occur in other instances too, such as when T occurs at the end of words but you can also just use an unreleased T sound. Really, a glottal stop in American English is a fairly uncommon sound. So if you find it very difficult, it may not be worth spending a lot of time to try to master. Are you able to pronounce the glottal stop? Does your language have a glottal stop? If so, do you have a symbol that you use to write it? Please let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you.